After many days of travel, Buddha arrived at a small town to give a speech. Everyone was happy to see him, except one young man. While Buddha spoke, the man was shouting at him. Buddha did not pay attention and continued speaking. This infuriated the man even more. He walked directly in front of Buddha and continued to ridicule him. You have no right to teach others because you're stupid and you're a fake. The crowd began to react to this young man's caustic behavior. Buddha stopped the crowd from turning against him and said, It is not always necessary to counter aggression by aggression. Instead, he turned to the man and asked, If you buy a gift for someone and that person does not take it, to whom does the gift belong? The young man was surprised by the question, thought for a moment, and answered, It would belong to me because I bought the gift. The Buddha said, Correct. It's the same with your anger. If you become angry with me and I do not feel insulted, nor accept your hostility, the anger falls back on you, as it was initially yours to give. You are then the only one who becomes unhappy, not me. All you've done is hurt yourself. The young man understood, clasped his hands together, and slowly bowed to the Buddha. It was an acknowledgement that this man learned a valuable lesson that day. And so the Buddha concluded, as mirror reflects an object, as a still lake reflects the sky, take care that what you speak or act is for good, for goodness will always cast back goodness, and harm will always cast back harm. When you understand that, everyone is carrying the burden of the past on their head, or their mood has deteriorated due to some past incident, then you do not take misbehavior or anger personally, and keep distance from that person by forgiving him in your heart. The sooner you do this, the sooner you find peace. Anger neither benefits you nor the other person. So whenever someone gets angry, in front of you or talks toxic, you have to listen to them calmly and not react to them. Because in anger only negative words always come out of the mouth, and negative words or negative thoughts never give happiness and peace in life. Therefore, we should always react with a calm mind or we should respond after some time with a calm mind. The lesson no matter what the situation, if you surrender yourself to anger, if you surrender your power to others, they will always take your life away from you. Instead, be the mirror, the reflection of themselves. Now the only person who truly gets infected by the negative it is them for those that are angry. It is pain and sadness that are disguised by the anger, and those who are hurt and attempt to put that on others are the only ones who suffer. If you are mindful enough to choose not to allow it in, instead you can find power and your higher self and put aside your ego. Never let anyone rob you of your power, because it's about them, not you. Instead of allowing others to inhibit your greatness or try to disempower you, rather than choosing to react, be the gift you give to the world and to them. Never underestimate the positive impact and influence can have on others. That's why the gift is for you. If you enjoyed this story, please consider subscribing to VidGrowth and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your insights and any stories. Until next time, be positive and keep moving forward.